Okay, let's take a look around this uh, absolutely gorgeous 1986 Land Rover 90. Soft top, um, 300 TDI power. Um, this one has just emerged well at the end of March from a long restoration uh, by a company called Island Land Rovers that uh, we know of and uh, we do like their work. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's done minimal miles since, less than 500. Uh, it did start life as a 2.5 normally aspirated military um, Land Rover 90 soft top um, and was taken into Island Land Rovers with a brief just to uh, replace the, uh, the chassis because it was getting very rotten with a galvanised one. And as often is the case, you know, the, um, the restoration spiralled to the extent that it's completely rebuilt. I think, think the only components that are, um, the only major components that are left over are the bulkhead, which was deemed to be in excellent condition, um, and the front axle, um, I think. <laughs> having been all over it um but it is absolutely magnificent um island land rovers have done a very very good job uh, the owner that commissioned it is also very exacting well-known client of ours and um it's absolutely magnificent so marsland chassis other bits and pieces on it it's got uh boost alloys with a near new set of um continental cross contact tires the um the type that are the latest ones fitted to defenders it's got um rock sliders on it checker plate on the front wing tops it's got this rather nice uh, stainless steel grill which which is it gives it a pleasingly retro modern effect if you ask me it makes it like a stage one at the front the old stage one v8 um i like it if you don't you can always put it back to the uh, original grill um especially with gray light surrounds it also looks very good there it's also got snorkel um inside it has a nice set of uh, exmoor trim seats in it and matching center cubby box check a plate on the rear quarters as well in the back it's been lined with this rubber stuff uh, but there's also a mat on the floor in the carpet uh, on the floor in the rear tub um, and it also has a uh, spare wheel carrier which was quite difficult to engineer for a soft top i should think but um, it's unusual to see those but um, they've done a very, very good job. Anyway, we'll go around and pick out some good bits and b bad bits. No, <laughs> it, it, it is truly magnificent. And in this uh, windjammer blue, it does look really, really nice. And especially in the sun, the colour seems to change colour a little bit. Um, it's not a metallic colour, but it is, um, it's a nice job they've done, they've done on the paint. Um, right, we'll start from around the front end. Um, front bumper's got a couple of minor scratches on it. It's not the original front bumper, but... Um, not sure what's uh, what that's all about but replacement bumper is minimal minimal figures um so it looks you know front bumper looks slightly weathered if you like but the paint finish as i say is magnificent everything i can criticize and it probably will come out if you've got the right tool but just where it's it's had a, a decent polish some of the polish is still in the um deep down in the grooves and i can't i haven't got a tool to get it out but um that's a minor criticism, but the generally, generally speaking, the paint finish is as good as, if not slightly better than it would have had when it was new. Uh, well, being a military one, it would have terrible paint, but talking about a civilian one, um, that's just a blemish I've just managed to put on there. So let's take that off. Looking down the sides, it's also got some um, fully sort of uh, restored civilian doors on it now. Um, it's utterly straight, absolutely perfect. And we will go inside the arches, but obviously with its new Marsland chassis, all you're going to see is nice stuff. That's inside the near side front arch. Up here, bulkhead, scuttle corners and everything, all very good. Screen is fine. Obviously we have a new Exmoor trim hood, which... Uh, I don't think the vehicle's actually been out in the rain, never mind the hood, so it will need to shrink a little bit more when it's taken out in the rain, but I don't think the, um, the vehicle itself has been out in the rain at all. Um, so near side door, perfect, and it has had, as I say, um, repairs to the, uh, to the, the bottom of, of the frame. They are civilian doors rather than the military doors that would have originally been fitted to it. I might have been tempted to keep the military doors, but each to their own. Um, inside here, the original military centre dash, it's been replaced with uh, civilian style. All good there. We've got the sound deadening and everything around the tunnel. Anything that 
perhaps could have been done a bit better. I don't know why it was done like this is the um, uh, the gator for the gear levers and everything. Could it be because it's an R380 gearbox? I know it is an R380 gearbox. I'm not sure. Um, there's got to be a reason for it. Um, you've got uh, matting on the seat boxes and everything. These these uh, seats, I don't think they're leather. If they are leather, it's a bonus. Um, let's assume they're vinyl. They've got stitching around them. Proper Exmoor trim ones. Civilian spec seats. Is they're leather? That's you. Again, near side rear wing, all magnificent. And then under here, again, looks like the suspension has been poly bushed as well. Incidentally, we have got a fair few photos of it sort of in build, um, stripped down to the bare chassis and stuff. So uh, we'll try and get those together as well. They've been sent to us by email. Um, we've talked about what it's like in the load area. Just where the hoods, perhaps I would have, if it were me, I'd have fitted galvanized tub top trims, um, especially with the, the galvanized side trims, because that's what you tend to get. The um, Even with minimal use, you do tend to get the hood rubbing the paint off of the uh, the edge here, which is exactly what's happened there. Um, all around the tail end, And then looking down the offside again, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, once again, you have got a few marks just up. When, when the hood is, is fully uh, down, obviously it covers all these up. So you don't see those. But when the hood is, is up, you can just see where the, the hood has kind of chafed against the paint a little bit. Um, and then, as you can see in here, just magnificent. Very, actually, one criticism, very, very slight blemish in the paint on the back of the offside door, just there. Um, yeah, just where the fold over hasn't been done particularly cleanly. But uh, again, completely uh, restored doors with bottom frames, so the bottom frames are in excellent shape. Scuttle corner and bulkhead, as you can see, first class. Front wing, first class. And then we'll just go back to inside. As I say, it's done about five, less than 500 miles since building. A couple of flower petals in there. Um, there's an original bit. Driver's floor, original green. Um, it's had a new rear tub on it, a replacement rear tub as well. As I say, probably the uh, the bulkhead and the front floors are all that survive of the original 1986 example. But it is as I say, quite magnificent. I'm um, I'm utterly in love with it. Good job I own it but um, hopefully we'll find a new home for it soon. Anyway, my name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more information. End.